What's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray. I know I've been gone for a while. I haven't made a video in a long time, but I'm back working on a couple of things. Got a couple of reviews that I'm working on. So stay tuned. But with that said, let's dive into this. I'm looking at the master bus here. If you guys been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I made a video on the master bus. This video, I want to show you some of the plugins I use when I'm mixing. So let's take a look at the plugins. So we have VTM, Slate Digital. We have the Kramer Tape, which is uh, by Waves. We have Impact, Avid. We have Classic uh, L1 Limiter. And we have 670 by Waves. Now before I play the track, track isn't mixed. And this is perfect. The reason you want to mix into your plugins. Well, that's the way I do it. Some people prefer to add their plugins after the mix. Doesn't really work for me that way. I prefer to mix into them. And at the end of the mix, if I take the plugins off, the mix just falls apart. So that's why I do it. Before we do anything, let's take a listen. Let's see what we're working with. Definitely not mixed, got some effects going on in there, but that's about it. So the first plug I want to look at is the Slate Digital's uh, VTM. So let's check it out. Let's see what it's doing. So I'm going to bypass it. Check it out. Pretty neat, right? So the next plugin we're gonna look at, it's another tape emulation uh, plugin, and it's by Waves. So we're looking at the Kramer Master Tape, another plugin that I definitely like. Now, this particular plugin, I have a preset that I always go to. So if you go to Load, Mastering, Mastering Clean and Open, that's the preset that I like. Normally, I will tweak the preset, but this time, I'll just leave it the way it is, and let's check it out. Pretty neat, right? Kind of hear how it's making things a little brighter. Nice. So we're going to move on to the next one. So we're looking at Avid's Impact. And this plugin is modeled after an SSL compressor. Sounds great. Use this thing a lot. So I'm going to do the same thing. Play a little bit. I'm bypass. And then I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to just go back and forth and see what you guys think.
as you hear starting to pump, you definitely don't want that. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is the old classic L1. You know what? Kind of. Let's check it out. So I had to stop the video here. I know a couple of people that use this great plugin. And let me tell you guys, loud isn't always better. Let's get back to the video. So we're looking at JJP 670 uh, compressor. So it's modeled and it's emulating a Fairchild compressor, very expensive hardware unit. And it definitely, definitely it's one of my favorite ones. So there you go guys, those are the particular plugins I like to use on the Master Bus. So at the end of the day, you get the glue, you make sounds a lot tighter. So here's what you want to do. Check the description. All the information regarding the plugins will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later guys.